Thank you so much for watching this video devotion. Please like, share, or subscribe so that other people can enjoy the content too. Today's video devotion is a tribute to a member of our church who went to be with the Lord this past week, and that is James Holmes. You know, we're in a season in which we're not able to worship in the same space as we would normally do. And so during this time when funerals aren't happening as they typically would, we want to at least be able to give honor to our members who have passed away through a video devotion. And that's what I'm doing today for Jim. Jim was a wonderful servant of the Lord. He and his wife Beverly have spent so much time studying the Word. And Beverly and I were discussing Jim's favorite Bible passages and one of his favorites, which was her favorite as well, and thinking of him, was a passage that she and I read together when we were with Jim in his final days. Uh, it's Psalm 146. I'd like to share with you one of the verses from this beautiful psalm. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Now this is meaningful because of what it says about being blessed by God, God who is our help and our hope, but also it calls God the God of Jacob. And Beverly pointed out to me that James is the Anglo-Saxon equivalent of Jacob. So blessed is he whose help is the God of James. James loved the Lord and he knew that the Lord loved him very much. Uh, James loved to serve. He served his family. He served the church at large. He was a discussion leader in Bible study fellowship for about five years. Uh, he was a part of the Institute of Basic Life Principles, he and Beverly, for 14 years. Uh, James served with the Memorial Service Detachment at Fort Sam Houston for about four years. And this is a group of volunteered, retired service men and women who would pay tribute to the enlisted men and women at their services with the playing of taps and a 21-gun salute. And so this was a very meaningful way for Jim to serve. Jim also served in our church. He worked the soundboard for a while. And uh, of course, simply by being present and being a part of this community, he was serving others. Jim loved to serve. He also enjoyed being served by the Lord. Jim loved to be in worship. We call our worship services the divine service because we believe that in worship, the divine God is actually serving us. He serves us. He ministers to us through his word. He serves us through the sacrament, through the body and blood of Jesus. And so Jim came to be served by the Lord. And that was his favorite place to be in the house of the Lord. We have a Lord who said that the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And we see Jesus living that out in many ways, uh, from washing his disciples' feet and serving them to ultimately serving all of us by dying on the cross to pay for our sins. That's the God that we worship. That's the God whom we seek for help and for hope. As the verse says here, blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. God is our help. He graciously serves us, and we are blessed by that. Out of all the things you can be blessed by, what you have or what you've done or an event in your life, there is no greater blessing than to know that God is serving you. And there is no greater motivation to serve others than to know that God has first served you and loved you through Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for watching this devotion. Please remember to like, share, or subscribe. God's blessings to all of you, especially to Beverly and all of the Holmes family. The peace of the Lord be with you. This hymn is in memory of James. Uh, this is for Beverly. Our church uh, sympathizes with you, and also we celebrate that James is at home with our Savior, and we celebrate in the resurrection of Christ. And this hymn was to be played at his funeral, and it is a mighty fortress is our God out of the ELCA hymnal. And so I'm grateful to play it for you.
Lord, Sabaoth is name, from age to age the same, and he must win the battle. And though this world with devils filled should threaten to undo us, we will not fear, for God hath willed his truth to triumph through us. The prince of darkness grim, we tremble not for him. His rage we can endure, for all his doom is sure. One little word shall fail.